question that you need to ask any administrative call is first find out the location that they are. So for example, this is Leeds Magistrates Court. The question you need to ask is, is this Leeds Magistrates Court that gets its authority from the Magistrates Court Act 1980? And is the equity of the court is using that of British pound sterling? If they say yes, that this is, um, it does get its authority from the Magistrates Court Act 1980, due to the uh, UK surrendering sovereignty and joining the European Economic Community on the 1st of January 1973, sovereignty was surrendered, the monarch was deposed and given a change of title. Therefore, any Act of Parliament, statute and law implemented post 1st of January 1973 is treason. And if they say that they are using pound sterling as equity, well, as of the 1944 Bretton Woods Agreement, the Great British Pound was backed by US dollar and the US dollar was backed by gold. Then on the 15th of August 1971, Richard Nixon took the US dollar off the gold standard. Now the US dollar is printed by the Federal Reserve, which is a non-governmental, independent US corporation with shareholders. Meaning that anybody who is paid in GBP is uh, therefore cannot, cannot uphold their judicial oath because they are being paid and economically motivated by a foreign federal state or a foreign federal corporate, not a foreign um, US independent corporation that is the Federal Reserve. It's treason, right? So if, if they are acting under the, um, if they get their authority from the Magistrates Courts Act 1980, then it is treason because the, um, the, the superior statutes of the uh, the 1688 coronation oath, the 1689 bill of oh, the bill of rights, the 1700 act of settlement, and 1795 the treason act. It says no fine or forfeiture without conviction with a jury of my peers. So all these administration courts, the only purpose they have is to try to obtain consent for corporate governance. Um, there's something else that they tried to do as well. Oh yeah. So they're trying to, they are trying to get your consent for corporate governance and they are trying to get you to take responsibility for your legal fiction and make you trustee of the trust that you are actually the beneficiary of. Is that, is that the Sester Creevee Trust? Yeah. And that's the only purpose these courts have. Two cups and chuffers.